everyone! So, Steve from The Lawn Gnome created this awesome monthly video series called 10 for 12 where every month he does a top 10 list of things. He collaborated with Sarah Ella this month to do their top 10 most inspiring YouTubers. I was messaging back and forth with Steve the other day and asked him if I could do it because I loved watching their videos and he said I could. Although I had no idea how hard it would be to only pick 10 people, I had a list of about 25 people and had to narrow it down because I love so many of you. So if I don't mention you here, it doesn't mean that you don't inspire me just as much as these people. In fact, you were probably on the list and I just had to cut it down. I might make a part two one day. First, I have to mention Steve, who created this thing. He's creating awesome projects all the time. He's so great at making videos. His content is so fun. His voice is just engaging and his videos are never boring. But my favorite thing about him is he is so supportive. He makes videos mainly about film, but he still supports booktubers. He supports so many different booktubers and he always tweets and helps people reach their goals. Like the other day I was about to make it to 600 subscribers and Steve tweeted it out and he helped me reach it. He's great. Go check him out. Next I want to talk about Sarah Crawford. Sarah Crawford is an amazing booktuber but she does more than just booktube. She has an awesome video series she created called the Friday Five and every Friday she has a different topic where she'll talk about her five favorite songs from said topic and every Friday the topic is so interesting and fun to watch. She's also a a writer and she is so knowledgeable on the subject of writing. She really knows what she's talking about. I love watching her videos. Next is Sarah Ella who is one of the kindest YouTubers in this community. Around when I first started booktube she would write these novel long comments on my videos and you could tell that she genuinely watched the video and wanted to become friends and make conversation with people. And so we would comment back and forth to each other and have great conversations. We have so much in common. We love the same books, movies, TV shows and she's just so genuine and sweet. Also her videos are fantastic. Then we have Morgan from Little Word Weaver. When I first discovered Morgan's channel I was so excited because I knew I'd stumbled upon an amazing channel. She's so creative. She has so many amazing ideas. I just also love how nerdy she is in a good way and what an amazing fangirl she is just like me. We love fangirling about the things we like and her channel is just so such high quality so great. Then I got to talk about Trina from Between Chapters. Who doesn't love Trina? There's not one person I know in the booktube community who doesn't love Trina. Trina has like 3,000 something subscribers and she's still nice to everyone and gives attention to everyone whether they have one subscriber or thousands. She is just everybody's friend. She's also so helpful. I swear every time I've tweeted out a question she is the first person to respond with an answer. I had camera trouble recently and she private messaged me and helped me fix it like step by step went through the whole process with me and it was so sweet and she, I feel like she does that for people all the time. She's just very helpful. Next is Hal from the channel Spindle Fingers. Without Hallie, I would not be doing booktube right now. My channel would not be where it is today. I started doing booktube in January and only made a few videos and then stopped for five months because I had no idea what I was doing. And then I somehow found Hallie's channel and I binge watched all of her videos. She inspired me so much. She is so real. She doesn't care what anyone thinks. She doesn't care about subscribers. She doesn't care about comments or view counts or any of that. She just cares about reading books and talking to people about books and it comes across. You can totally tell how genuine she is and she's funny and quirky and awkward in an endearing way and I just love her stuff. Next is Missy from the channel Binge Reader. Missy is one of the happiest people on booktube. Her videos are great. Her intro is so beautiful. She reads a ton of books. She does weekly wrap-ups and she sent me some books for my birthday this year which was crazy and totally not necessary but totally sweet and I'm going to show those books um, in my next video. Missy, you are so sweet. I'm so glad I've gotten to know you. Um, we really connected during booktube a so I'm really thankful for that. Next, I gotta say Kales McKaylee from Kales Corner. Kales is so smart and reads such a wide array of books and does great reviews on them. When I watch her videos, I feel like I'm just in a room having a conversation with her as friends. It's so real and intimate. I just feel like she's so wise beyond her years. I know that sounds weird because I don't know her in real life, but I just love watching you, Kales. You are so great. And she needs more subscribers. Go subscribe to Kales corner now. Next are the amazing twins Maddie and B from the channel Heart Full of Books. I'm not gonna lie, I was a Maddie and B fangirl for a few years before I ever even talked to them. I 
adore their videos so much. So they have thousands and thousands of subscribers and I never thought they would notice me in a million years but I would just comment on their videos sometimes and then they started replying to comments and then they shouted me out on Twitter during the Booktubeathon and I was like what is happening? Because I never thought they would even know who I was but now we've connected and we've become friends and I, we would be totally such good friends in real life if we didn't live a million miles away from each other. We love a lot of the same stuff. We love animation and Disney and their room is covered with dolls and posters and stuff like that just like mine is so I they are like my kindred spirits I love them and their videos are freaking incredible go watch them next is Vicki Eisenstein Vicki is not a booktuber she is a comedian and actress and she does comedy sketches and and stuff like that she is the sweetest like I think the sweetest person on the internet so sweet so adorable so funny and she's just like Steve she supports all the booktubers even though she doesn't even do booktube and I'm so glad I can find people like that because it's really great to connect with other YouTubers as well who don't do booktube. Always leaving the sweetest comments on my videos and on a lot of other people's videos and her content is so great too. And last but not least is Marina's from My Name is Marina's. She is so freaking intelligent it's not even funny. Her book reviews are my favorite book reviews to watch out of any other booktuber in the world because she always has something so insightful to say. You can tell she really thought about what she was going to say but then she's also hilarious especially if she didn't like the book because she's so snarky. She's always doing amazing collabs and getting everyone to come together to make awesome videos and I, I seriously enjoy her channel so much every time she pops up in my subscription box I'm clicking on that so fast. I love her. Thank you guys for watching. If I didn't mention you again, it does not mean that I, did, I didn't want to because I definitely wanted to. Bye.